As soon as a coin in the coffer rings, Luther's Reformation. On November 10, 1483, Martin Luther was born in Eilsbund, Saxony, in Germany, to Hans and Margaret Luther. The Catholic Church was held in very high esteem in 15th century Europe because everything else around the people seemed to go in shambles, and the Church was the only thing standing tall and strong. The Church became extremely rich, corrupt, and powerful, and thus became the might of the European world. Martin Luther was always involved in the Church ever since he was young. He served as an altar boy and sang in the choir. He also played the lute for services. Hans Luther, Martin's father, wanted him to be a lawyer, but despite his exhaustive efforts to make this happen for his son, Luther joined a monastery. It was through the monastery that Luther was assigned to take a journey to the Vatican City of Rome. When he returned back from Rome, he is known to have said Rome was a spiritual place filled with unspiritual people. And that's exactly what Martin Luther thought. He realized that the powerful church officials were actually businessmen, and the church was happy to profit from its own profits. Even though the church was very wealthy in this day and age, they still needed more funds so that they could build St. Peter's Basilica. To raise money, the church started the sale of indulgences. These were small pieces of paper that, if bought, would buy you time out of purgatory. Yes, instead of going to the cross, the Catholic Church started teaching that the only thing you had to do when you did things wrong was to buy this little piece of paper and it's your ticket out. This cell was very popular for the church. The people were hungry for forgiveness, so they took their chance and bought what they thought was time out of purgatory. The beauty of indulgences is that they weren't just bought for the buyer. They could be bought for friends, family, acquaintances, or even people that have already died. Johann Tetzel was a very popular seller of indulgences. He was a Dominican friar and was sent to Germany by the Catholic Church that he could sell indulgences again to raise money for St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. Johann Tetzel is well known to have said, as soon as the corn in the coffer rings, the soul from purgatory springs. He said this as a cute little catchphrase for anyone who would buy an indulgence that he was selling, but this enraged Luther, and he was angry. Martin Luther adamantly believed that salvation was found sola fide. In Latin, that means in faith alone. And that's exactly what Luther taught that you couldn't buy salvation, but you had to believe. Acting on this belief, he wrote something called the Disputation on the Power and Efficacy of Indulgences, but this is also known as the 95 Thesis. These 95 Theses were basically a big long list of questions and ideas that Luther wanted to debate, that he did not agree with the Catholic Church, and so... He wrote this document and nailed it on the door of the Wittenberg Castle Church on October 31st, 1517. Due to the printing press, copies of Luther's writings spread throughout Germany like a wildfire in as little as two weeks. In October of 1518, Luther was asked to recant, and he refused, unless scripture proved him wrong. And then he went further to say that he didn't even consider the papacy's authority to interpret scripture to be valid. So who were they to say that he was wrong? Naturally, the Catholic Church was completely enraged by Luther's defiance. So June 15th, 1520, the Pope issued a letter basically threatening Luther's excommunication from the church. Luther didn't care about any of this. In fact, just six months later, on December 10th of the same year, Luther publicly burned the letter of his excommunication that he received from the Pope. In March of 1521, Luther was then called before the Diet of Worms and refused to recant his teachings. On May 8th of that year, they issued something called the Edict of Worms and banned his writings and declared him a convicted heretic. After that, Luther began organizing a new church called Lutheranism. He gained a lot of followers that were mostly German princes. Luther had been fighting a battle of faith versus a world power, and now he had finally broken away.
Lutheranism is still practiced today, and the church is still divided into two main sections. The first section is Catholicism, which is the day of old teachings of the Catholic Church. The second section is Protestantism, the split from the church that began with Martin Luther. Martin Luther was able to explore not just Christianity and the Bible as he knew it, but himself and his heart to see what he believed. Luther was able to explore a path that was completely almost unheard of in Europe, and that was defying the Catholic Church. Martin Luther had to deal with many of the hardships that came along with stepping out in your faith. He was excommunicated from the Catholic Church, something that he grew up in. He was condemned and wanted by people who he even knew. Martin Luther had the encounter of going up against the Catholic Church, something that wasn't done during this time, and it was hard. But he also had to encounter an awakening within himself and his heart. Because of Martin Luther's bravery and his stepping out of the norm and going for what he believed in, he gave the world something that we didn't really have before, and that was a choice in religion. We could still be Christians, but we could be our own kind of Christians. We could personalize our faith, and Luther gave that to us.